I would like to request Dr. Kirti Bhushan Pradhan to moderate the session. Please, sir. Esteemed uh, audience, respected panel members, so I'll take this opportunity to uh, give a brief introduction to the session. So as we all know, health is certainly not everything. But everything without health has no meaning. So in that context, let's explore what are the different needs and scope in the state of Odisha. And to keep a base to understand side what's the scope and need. If I recall, Gandhi had said long, long ago, and it's, it's there probably in all these uh, social media and, and Google, told very, very powerful uh, kind of a quote, which, uh, which says, recall the face of the poorest and the weakest you have seen, and ask yourself if this tape you, are, you contemplate is going to be any use to that poor and needy person. Because when we talk about scope and need, we always see the bigger picture. We always focus on the cities, towns, and the rich. Unfortunately, the scope and need in an Indian context, in Odisha context, has to be based on the village, rural. And most of the time, we, t we take the credit of big hospitals, the city-based top doctors, the city-based diagnostic services, and the fancy hospitals, be it private, be it public, we always take credit of those as our savior for health care. But unfortunately, the 70-80% rural population, that's the crux today of our discussion. And the other point I wanted to say is, in context of Odisha, in case some of you don't know about it, Odisha has no dearth of money, be it Odisha government's budget. There was a time when Odisha was the poorest state in the country. But today, look at the budget of government of Odisha. It's huge. And not only that, you'll be surprised to know some of our districts, District Mineral Fund, DMF, you can Google and find out. It's not what I am telling from a book or anything. It's there in the Google. District Mineral Fund, district like Keonjar, districts like Angul, district like Zarsuguda, 900 crores is just lying in the bank account of a district. So that is the kind of money we have. But the question is, and even some of the districts are doing it, buy a fancy equipment, buy a fancy gadget for the hospital, and you find within a month that fancy gadget or fancy equipment is defunct. Not only that, before investing the money on the fancy gadget and fancy device, there is no thought about where is the manpower? Is there a training to handle that fancy device and fancy gadget worth crores. So that is the scenario we are in. I just gave a contextual thought process for my respected panel members to think over it. And always let us try to focus on our 70 to 80 percent population who live in rural areas. Let's for the time being ignore the fancy city-based hospitals and those uh, Rich people, and I always say, rich people have all the means to go to any place in the world for that treatment. 
we don't need to build hospitals for the rich and mighty. Even if you build for them, they may not use your hospital. They may not like the doctor there. They may go to Singapore, Bangkok, Hong Kong, Delhi, Bombay. They have access to all kinds of things. But unfortunately, our state, many of our Indian states, they focus on cities and the rich and take the credit saying that we have the fanciest hospital in the world. So with this, I would like to request my panel members to give their uh, views in two, three minutes what they think is the scope and need for the state of Odisha. Thank you. जदि आपन को आमो वीडियो टी भलो लागिला तेबे आमो चैनल को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करबा को जमा बे भुलंतु नहीं